Hello again. It's now time for mission and a mission this evening. The Loloto Primary School in the Kandai District of the Northern Region has recorded increased enrollment after the donation of sanitary pads by a non-governmental organization. But the school is also faced with inadequate furniture. Stanley Niblo has filed the following report. Loloto Primary School two months ago received intervention after TV3 Mission reported on the constant absenteeism by teenage female pupils. Head teacher of the school, Tnab Isaac, said there has been improvement in the school's enrollment after the guest child. It has shoot the enrollment of the girl child in the school because just within nine days after the, this donation was done, I, I have admitted specifically nine girls who are also in that category. Which psychologically I've just not known is because of the, what their colleagues have received that has at least gingered them to also come and enroll themselves. He was grateful to the NGO for the donation. Since uh, the NGO came and donated it, I think that the absenteeism on the part of the girl child in my school have reduced. And uh, that is when they are in that period. Now they, they have co uh, confidence and they come to school with all vim, with no fear because. They have protected themselves and they cannot be disgraced in public. So they come to school always. Beneficiaries were equally happy. It helped me now when I'm coming to school, I feel comfortable. Now that I'm having the sanitary pack, I don't feel again because I know that I'm well protected. So I would like to, to thank you very much. But the Loloto Primary School is faced with serious furniture situation. Lower primary pupils are the most affected. The mission team visited the school at the time the end of term examination was in session, and this was how pupils participated in the exams. This has been their daily ritual. Those who could not write on the floor improvised. Upper primary pupils were fortunate to sit on desk, but the desks were inadequate. During the exams, some pupils had to bring kitchen stools and tables to school. Teachers also offered their tables for use by pupils. Head teacher Tinab Isaac described the situation as worrying. It has been a long time we haven't received any uh, furniture from the office. But in order to, we can also be waiting for them while they are also preparing themselves we'll have to get something to improvise in place of the furniture, which I met uh, the parents and told them uh, to release their plastic chairs so that at least their walls can come and use them in the classes. When the class is over, they send them back. So they've been carrying these plastic chairs up and down. Improving quality education at Loloto will require stakeholders' intervention. Now, construction of a new junior high school block at Sabonjida in the Nanumba North Municipality of the Northern Region has started. The project, funded by the MP for the area, Dominic Intil, follows TV3's constant report on the bad state of a shared accommodating students and staff. In 2016, Member of Parliament for Bimbala, Dominic Nitiwo, who is also the Defence Minister, bought a track load of sand to mold blocks to construct a classroom block for the Sabongida Junior High School. But nothing was done after that. Teachers lost hope after they were made to clear a parcel of land for the construction of the school and nothing was done. Property of the Sabonjida Junior High School is kept with a neighbor in the community because there's no office. In the face of slow response to their plight, some teachers who say they find the condition in which they teach disturbing quit their job. After TV3 reported on the state of the school on two occasions, MP for the area, Dominic Nitu, moved in to commence construction of a classroom block. Foundation has been dug, while some blocks have also been molded. The new school would include three classrooms and an office. However, there are mixed feelings among teachers. Since December last, last year, uh, we were there when we saw some people, that's a contractor, and some cement. They are from the MP's office and they are here to put up our school building for us. We are just waiting because what they told us 
when they came at first, that is not what we are seeing. They told us by April, the whole structure will be then. We 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 will move into it. But what we are seeing now, we are just praying that this week they will come and the work will start. We thank God for them remembering the school, but uh, that, 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 that is not the completion part of it. So I will still keep my fingers across and I need it to be done. Yes, they are doing something, but it hasn't been put up. This is not the only worry here. Furniture is scarce. Students provide their own furniture to school. Those whose parents are not able to provide furniture perch with their friends or sit on the floor. It was an examination period when the mission team visited the school. Most pupils have brought kitchen stools and tables to aid their writing. It was, however, a tough time for those who could not afford a table. Their laps were the only available choice. Teachers were not happy about the state of the school. We don't have desks, a conducive classroom that every student is thinking of. So when you look at this situation, it's become boring as a teacher to go inside a class where students cannot find a place to sit. Sabonjida M.A. Junior High School will be a better place for academic excellence if stakeholders prioritize the needs of the school. And that's all for Mission Tonight. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks for watching.